Today we are seeing which sport has the best stadium food. Between baseball, basketball, and football. I brought a local fan for each team to help me out. Let's go, baby. We're going to be trying hot dogs, burgers, drinks, nachos, and the most iconic food from all the different stadiums. For the NBA stadium, I brought my boy Patrick. We have our NBA podcast together. But Patrick, what is your go-to NBA stadium food? I love some hot dogs if I'm going for a full meal. Peanuts if I'm just going for a snack, though. All right, let's head inside and see if we can match up with the Dodgers and the Rams. And for the NBA game, they have Dirt Dog now. This is my favorite hot dog place in Los Angeles. The stadium version, they don't make the hot dogs fresh. They just keep making them and then you just get them. So I have the house dog. He has the elote dog. Get it. Cheers. I don't even know where to start. You got the salty sweet with the corn and the bacon. It is so rich. It is so good. This is like the best stadium hot dog. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't get much better than this. It has so much stuff on it. I've got peppers, I've got bacon, I've got mustard. The buns are like perfectly toasted. It's the best version of a hot dog. For each food item, I am going to be rating them on a scale of one to eight, and my guest at each stadium is going to be rating them on a scale of zero to two. Zero being not good, one being okay, and two being great. To decide the winner of today's videos, the five scores will be added together for a cumulative score. I'm gonna give it an eight. There's a lot going on right here. The bun really sets it apart from a lot of like stadium food. It's so buttery. Honestly, as stadium food goes, I gotta give it a two. So this got a perfect 10 from us. Category one, hot dogs. Now, obviously the Dodgers are famous for the Dodger dogs, so I am excited. No, they do not have Dodger dogs anymore. It's absolute BS. There was a huge pork inflation thing where the pork is a lot higher price now. All right, so we're gonna go get some hot dogs. The Dodger dogs used to be like this, and genuinely, size matters. I don't know what to say. Size does matter. All right, well, let's see how the Dodger dog is. Cheers. <laughs> it just leaked liquid. Man, I got to say, first impressions of all the food here at the stadium, this is very underwhelming. I've had Dodger dog plenty of times before, but this is disgusting. I'm floored. Because I'm telling you, I've never actually had a Dodger dog this bad. Well, I don't think it's disgusting. I'm going to give it a five. It's hard to mess up a hot dog, but when you put out freaking liquid ketchup, I'm giving it a zero. A zero? Wow. So the Dodger dog gets a five out of ten total. You're representing the NFL in this video. Do you think NFL is going to clear MLB and NBA? That's tough because I've had a lot of good food at a lot of other stadiums, but I think football has the best like experience out of all the sports I do think it'll clear everything this is the newest stadium in the NFL and I will say I think this is the most beautiful, beautiful arena in the world right now what's super cool about SoFi is they don't have vendors they just have different stores that are themed after the different parts of the city so Sotel is where there's a lot of Japanese food so this is where all the Asian style food is and this is actually where the hot dogs come from so we're gonna get some hot dogs dude I love Lizzie's football quick lines too gotta love that I feel like you gotta try the crazier one look at this perfect glizzy bro Cheers, cheers, bro. No condiment, still good, bro. Bro, like, there are so many flavors going on in this one, I honestly couldn't even taste the hot dog. It's so messy. I'm gonna try the normal hot dog, too. Bro, how do you eat this? This is just crazy. Like, too much crazy. It's a little too crazy, for sure. I think it's an okay glizzy. It doesn't really stand out. I'm gonna give it a four. I think I'm gonna give it a one. So that has a total score of five. The next category is burgers. You're a basketball fan. Yes, I am. Have you ever had the burger here? I've never had a burger here at Stables, Crypto. Is Crypto even a thing anymore? A really good burger is scary to eat because it could drip on you, but I feel like really bad burgers are dry and there's no risk. You have a very old Blake Griffin jersey. Are you willing to risk it? for the burger quality check. I am willing to risk it, but just for you. This is pretty juicy. It doesn't look that good though. Ah, it's buttery. Not much sauce going on here. There's not a lot of flavor. The main flavor I'm getting is salt. Well, the NBA stadium started so strong. It's not terrible, but I would not recommend it. What are you gonna give this? I'm gonna go with one. It's not offending me, but there's better options. I'm gonna give it a four, so it's gonna have a cumulative score of five. All right, after 20 minutes, we are at the front of the burger line. I get that we have seats like to view the game, but we're trying to have like a, a pre-seat burger. Real eaters, no. You need to have a pre-seat burger, a seat no. burger, and a post-seat burger. One thing that I'm not a fan of is this burger really looks like it's been sitting out for a while. They kind of just have them sitting there, which begs the question, why is the line so long? I mean, it's Shake Shack. I love Shake Shack. I personally really love Shake Shack, and I feel like this is a lot worse than the Shake Shack okay. I usually go to. We paid almost double what normal Shake Shack costs. That's true. I'm gonna give it a six. I'm gonna give it a one. All right, so it has a total score of seven for the Dodger Stadium burgers. So at SoFi Stadium, their iconic burger is the pastrami burger. Now it's 20 bucks. This is the most expensive stadium burger we're getting in this video. And it came out instantly, so I don't know if that's a good sign. 
flavors are good, but I feel like, like the texture is not right. Like the pastrami tastes good, but the rest of the burger is kind of lacking. I feel like the pastrami doesn't help the burger. Yeah, it kind of is its own thing. Feels like two separate things like coming together with no chemistry. This is like the hardened of the Clippers. The pastrami is good by itself. I don't know, it sounded so good, but considering that this is 20 bucks. I mean, I have to give it a one. It's a four for me. Total score, a five. Yes, that burger was incredibly mid, but let me tell you what is not mid. Today's sponsor, DraftKings. If you're a basketball fan like me, then you are loving the new midseason tournament. And let me tell you, there is no better way to watch it than with DraftKings. I've teamed up with them to create an offer that you do not want to miss out on. All new customers who bet $5 instantly get $150 in bonus bets. And existing customers, we've got you covered too. With the no sweat same game parley, even if you miss, you still get a bonus bet back. If you want to take advantage of these as a new or existing customer, use my promo code JIDEL. Unrelated. Your boy's having a bad hair day. This is really an offer you don't want to miss. Five dollars to turn into 150 is a 30x multiplier. That is literally insane. Thank you to DraftKings for hooking it up. Guys, make sure to check it out. Promo code JIDEL. Let's get back to some stadium food. The next category is nachos. All right, early impressions of the nachos. Based on how fast the nachos appeared, I'm a little uh, concerned. Sus. Yeah. Stadium food is weird because it's never as fresh as like real food because they have to have a lot of them ready, you know, for everyone in line. The chicken looks good. The chicken looks good, like real chicken. They're using the fake cheese. I hate the fake cheese. You guys know fake cheese is almost an automatic zero from your boy. You know, I'm not a big bean guy, but you know what? We're just gonna go. <laughs> It's warm. It is warm. I was a little scared that it would not be warm. The guac is actually cold, which is nice. These are actually pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie. Even with the fake cheese, I feel like there's not as much of it. It's not overloaded with the fake cheese. Nothing's like soppy. I low-key can't stop eating them. I gotta kinda give it a decent rating. All right, so what are you rating the nachos? I like these. I'm gonna give them a two. I'm gonna give it a five. That gives it a score of seven. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Ooh. Barbacoa loaded nachos. Damn. That's the craziest like stadium nachos I've, I've ever seen. seen. All right, let's dig in. That is falling apart quite a bit. Oh no. Oh, it, it's hard to eat it. Okay. I feel like they're not as flavorful as they look though. Yeah. I'm gonna give these a three. I'll give it a one. So that's a total score of four. And these are the nachos from Dodger Stadium. This is kind of disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. When I see nachos with fake cheese, they're automatically a low score for me. I actually really like fake cheese, but it looks so old. Look at that, it's kind of gross. It doesn't look good at all. Cheers. <laughs> Alright, pretty bad. I actually really like it. I like baked cheese. <laughs> but my question is, do you think this is it? Because this is a really deep bowl. Do you think they put cheese underneath there or do you think it's all just chips? Let's see how generous they were with the cheese. Oh. Okay. No, no. It's, it's pretty much all chips. I'm giving it a zero. It's fake cheese. It's absolute ripoff country. The only saving grace is that you get a souvenir hat. Yeah, you're giving it a zero. I'm gonna give it a two. It's just chips and the helmet, kind of cool, but it's also kind of disgusting. Jason, we're each gonna pick a player. If your player gets a home run, the other person has to wear the nacho hat. Oh, you're done. I'm picking Mookie Betts. I'm actually gonna pick Max Muncy. He's hitting out of the park. We're probably not even gonna eat that much of it, so. Yeah, uh, it's gonna get dumb. Yeah, good luck. No, on your head. Category four is signature drink of the stadium. Now, Dodger Stadium is actually really cool. They have a ton of different signature drinks, but we decided to go with the margarita strawberry glove catcher. You live in LA and you get a like a shaker cup that's yeah. like an actually cool souvenir glass. I'll let you have the first sip. Oh. That is good. It's very weak. It's supposed yeah. to be a double shot. Maybe it's all on the bottom. It's good. It's good. It's not great. It kind of just takes like the pre-made mixer. Am I being too critical of like stadium food? No, so this costs $28 and they don't actually make it for you with a bartender. They just pour it out of a tap. So I think it's actually a complete ripoff. Awesome. I could get this for four bucks in my college town. I gave the drink a four and Jason gave it a one for a cumulative score of five. You know, this is our fourth thing at the stadium and I feel like so far Dodger Stadium has been very disappointing. Yeah, you know how it is. You're here for the ball game, you're here for the good vibes, all the great fans around. The signature food, that's what I'll say. All right, well, we still have to do the signature food, but let's check out the drinks from the other stadium. Most iconic drinks they have here at SoFi they have slushies. So I'm gonna get the lemonade vodka slushie. And it comes in like a cute mason jar. These were $22 each. It's expensive. They come in a cool mason jar. It's not really like a memorabilia item. The Dodgers said they had the shaker cup, but this could taste better. Cheers, James. Cheers. Whoa. 
It's hard to drink with the straw. There's no way there's alcohol in this. I feel like I tasted it a bit. Th that tastes really good, but it's hard to drink. We need bigger straws. We definitely need thicker straws. These straws are too thin. Brain freeze? <laughs> no, I like the mason jar. It's cool, it's bespoke, it's very LA. What I really like about this stadium through all the food, even though we didn't rate everything highly, is it feels very authentic to the city. I'm gonna give this a seven. I think I'm gonna use one of my twos. For a drink. Total score of a nine. Before we get to the next food, I want you guys to know Patrick and I have started our own NBA podcast called Foul Trouble. We're posting every Tuesday and Friday, so make sure not to miss it. Yes, and we're on all of your favorites, podcast platforms, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. We're also here on YouTube on this channel. Make sure to check it out. Link in the description. The signature drink of the NBA, the Michelada. So here in LA, there's a local brewery called Golden Road. It is super, 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 super popular here in Los Angeles. Their signature beer is the Mango Cart. So this is a Mango Cart Michelada. Cheers. Cheers. I it's love really this. good. It's yeah. really good. Citrusy wheat beer with like the mango hints. Yeah. I feel like what makes this the best beer for a Michelada and like literally the whole world is it has this really sweet mango flavor that just like complements like the chamoy, the tahini seasoning. It's kind of like what you get at like an actual Mexican street market, but in beer form. As far as signature drinks goes, I don't know if it's very creative. Yeah. I I'm mean, not getting like a memorabilia cup. It is like the drink of the city, but here's the gripe, Patrick. So, so far here at the crypto.com arena, we and you have gotten hot dogs. They were $15 each. We've got gotten burgers, they were like $11 each. We got nachos, that was like 17 total. This combined, everybody, $54 for these two drinks. That's a pretty steep price for really just one beer. This straw is just not big enough for me. Yeah, so Patrick, when you factor in the price, I have been to the Dodgers game and I have now been to this game. At the Dodgers game, I got a shaker cup with a Dodgers hat on it. That's awesome. For the same price. It was like a cocktail. Okay, so that's like more alcohol too. I'm probably gonna give this a one because I like it. It's good. It is good. But if I'm going for a signature drink, I would much rather have a signature cocktail instead of a beer. Ah, uh, this is a tough one to rate because I really do like it as a drink. I'm gonna give it a three for a score of four. For a drink that I like, I think the price is just that. Yeah, outrageous. it's only a beer. All right, since Max Muncy hit the home run. Yeah, soaking that cheese sauce. You actually look good in that. I feel like I styled the helmet pretty well. It does actually look really good. So we have one food left to get at each stadium, and that is the most iconic food. You're our Dodger expert. What is the most iconic food? It's tough. I'm really torn between the peanuts and the soft serve, but I'm going with the soft serve, because one helmet's not enough. All right, Jason, this is melting fast. Oh my god. Dude, this, it's warm. This looks amazing. Dude, I'm excited. I know it's zero, they're two, I'm giving it a three. It's so good. Uh -oh. It is messy. So this is amazing. I would give this an eight, a perfect score. The churro itself is actually not that great. It's not. But the ice cream is delicious. I'm gonna give it a seven and you are giving it? I'm giving it a two, it's incredible. It gets a nine, it's one of the best scores in the video. This is incredible. It's a great way to end Dodger Stadium. Let's see the signature food from the other stadium. The most iconic food at SoFi is the Korean chicken loaded top. Let's go. Just going straight for it. Bro, that sauce. What is it, like a soy glaze? Like a... That is so good. Wow, wow, bro, that is unfathomably good. It's crispy, the flavors are immaculate. Everything goes so well together. It's got like a nice like uh, sweet, and it has like a nice like kind of salty to it too. Yeah. And it like balances like really well. I'm very impressed. I might get another one of these, bro. I feel like we're doing such a bad job describing this because we're literally at a loss for words about how good this is. All right, what are you gonna rate it? Give it a two. I'm giving that the full eight. That is a perfect 10. I actually wasn't kidding. After we finished filming this video, I literally went and got more of these. They are just that good. So the Crypto.com arena doesn't really have a signature food. There's a ton of different vendors all around the arena, but none of them are really the signature food. But there is a buffet, so Patrick and I are going to be trying out the buffet. I guess this is the signature food of Staples. The buffet is $78 per person. There we go. Okay, I got to make room. Try some eggplant. Thank you. Dude, this buffet is amazing. So far I've got potatoes, polenta, some steak. Sheesh. I've never seen a buffet with candy, so I had to get some fresh Sour Patch Kids. What are we working with here? I don't even know where to jump in first. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty flavorful. It's buffet, so it's not exactly the warmest thing ever, but it's super tasty. So far, the polenta's been great. These potatoes are really good. I am going to jump into my shrimp pasta. The shrimp pasta is like warm. I love that. All good buffets have a tri-tip. Bro, I'm 
I'm impressed. I feel like this is one of the better buffets I've ever been to. Yeah, this is super great. So it's really hard to rate this because we're rating the whole experience. It was 78 a person. I'm gonna give it a six. If you think about it, it's really three micheladas and you're getting a really, really great food experience, but it is a heavy price. I will give it a two. It was really good, but there are other ways you can enjoy a game. An eight is still a really good score. A pretty strong showing from the crypto center. With all of the food tried, the scores are in, and in last place, we have the MLB with a score of 28. In second place, we have the NFL with a score of 33, and the NBA wins with a score of 34. But I gotta give another shout out to those loaded tots, man. They were the best things I had in that video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you to DraftKings for supporting this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!